In this video, we will do an example finding the intersection of a line and a plane. So before we do the example, let's just draw a picture. So if I have a plane, so if I have a plane, and if I have a line that's not already on the plane, so if I have a line that's not already on the plane, so I may be coming in at an angle, it's going to intersect the plane at a certain point. And then I'm going to draw a dashed line to indicate now it's sort of like under it, I can't really see it. And then it comes out. Okay, so we have this line intersecting the plane somehow. So let's do an example. Let's find the point of intersection of the line given by these parametric equations. So these three equations, they describe this line. So the point of intersection of that line given by these equations with the plane given by the equation x minus 4y minus 5z equals 15. So how do I do something like this? I have these equations for this line. I have the equation of this plane. I actually want you all to pause the video for about one to two minutes to try this. So I, would, I just want you to think about how you'd begin. How do you take these equations for the line and then do something with them involving the equation of the plane. So four, three, two, one, pause the video. Pause the video for one to two minutes to try this. All right, so hopefully you've done that. Hopefully you've paused it for about two minutes to, to think about this, to think about how you'd begin. So we are gonna use an idea from, from algebra when we found intersections of two things, which is we're gonna take one equation or in this case, a set of equations, and substitute into the other. So we are going to substitute. So specifically, we know what x and y and z are equal to from the line equations, and plug those into the plane. So if I plug an x into the plane equation, we get 6 plus t, and then we have that minus 4, and that's going to get multiplied by y, which is negative 4t plus 2, and then we have the minus 5 getting multiplied by z, which is 2t, 2t minus 3. And this equals 15 on the other side. Okay, so we have 6 plus t. Distribute the minus 4 to get plus 16t minus 8. Distribute the negative 5 to get negative 10t plus 15 equals 15. Okay, so we can cancel out the 15s, so cancel those 15s. And simplifying now, so we have 16t plus t, that's 17t, minus the 10t, so all the t terms, will end up giving me 7t, and taking all the constant terms, that's the 6 and this minus 8, if we move them to the other side, we'll get equals 2. And dividing by 7, we get t equals 2 over 7. So the parametric equations sort of describe like a particle moving along the line. So in that context, 2 over 7 is the time when a particle traveling along the line meets the plane when it sort of will touch the plane or land on the plane. So t equals 2 over 7. Okay, but the question wasn't to find the time when it happened, it was to find the point of intersection. So if I want the intersection point, ooh, the intersection point, what we do is take this time and plug it in to the equation for x and y and z. So for x, we'd get it's 6 plus 2 over 7. And getting a common denominator, this is 44 over 7. y is equal to negative 4 times t, so times 2 over 7, plus 2. And if we simplify this, this one ends up being 6 over 7. And if we do the same thing now for z, z is 2 times 2 over 7 minus 3. And simplifying this, this is negative 17 over 7. 
Okay, so we have the x, the y, and the z coordinates. We just have to put them uh, as the coordinates of a point. So x is 44 over 7, y is 6 over 7, and z is negative 17 over 7. And that is the point where this line and this plane intersect. So finally, in terms of our goals, we have done our third goal. We've described how to find an intersection of a line and a plane with an example.